In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to configure media in BuddyBoss platform. And I think you guys are really going to like this tutorial because we've built some really cool stuff here. First, under components, we're going to activate media uploading. And that's going to give us a new section under settings called media. And in this section, we, you can see we have three different boxes, one for photo uploading, emoji, and animated GIFs. And you can see all of these are available throughout the site. So you can upload these items into profiles, groups, messages, and forums if you want. And this is also extendable. So over time, we might add more sections, like perhaps the ability for video uploading uh, and other things as we see fit. In this tutorial, I'm just going to go through photo uploading. And in some other tutorials, I go through emoji and animated GIFs. So we'll start with this, allow members to upload photos in profiles. Let me go to my timeline. And I'm going to post an update. You can see I have this photo icon now. I could drop photos in here or I could use the updater. Let me just grab three images at the same time here. Pretty cool. And I'm gonna post this update. You can see it uploads it into this nice little grid and you can click an image and leave a comment. And you could even upload photos in your reply. And we can paginate through and see all the different pictures that have been uploaded. And then if I go to my photos, we have an index of all the photos I've ever uploaded. Some of these are old from me testing earlier. And also, if we go back here and go under pages, you can see when you first enable the media component, it creates a photos directory. So we can view that as well. And this is all photos that have been uploaded to the site as well as my photos. Of course, it's limiting what you can see based on your permissions. So I can't just see photos posted into private groups or whatever. If I go back here and enable albums, this is really cool what we've got here. I can go to albums and I can create one. I could upload photos right now and I can select who can actually see these photos and that's gonna to apply to that photos directory as well. So I'm just gonna create this album, it's blank. And I'll add photos now. I could upload, but I could also go to select photos and I can pick from photos that have been previously uploaded to my timeline. Click done. And that's it. So now if you go to my albums, you'll see we have this nice album. You can open it up and see the photos in it. And then we can enable the same options for groups. So I'm just gonna enable both. All right, we don't have any groups. So let me just quickly create some groups. I'll go to tools and create some groups real fast. And we can see I'm an organizer of this group. So if I go into feed, I can upload a photo into this group. <laughs> and we get our overlay. And if I go into albums, we've got the same functionality that we can create an album and that will be an album stored within our group. Going back into our settings, we're going to allow members to upload photos into private messages. So let's save that and let's go into my inbox. We can see I have a little conversation here with Madeline. Let me respond back to her and I can attach a photo into our message. And click send reply. And now we have a photo attachment in our message conversation. And you can add as many as you want to every message. And then we'll go ahead and enable for forums. Save that. And we don't have any forums yet, so let's go back into tools. And I'll just create some dummy forums here. So let's go into this forum and we can go into a discussion. And I can click reply. And when I reply to this forum discussion, I can attach an image. And 
click post. Now an image has been attached to the form thread. So I want to talk just for a moment about BuddyPress. Some of you may know from my other tutorials that BuddyBoss platform is a fork of BuddyPress. The reason we forked it is so that we could really improve it and give a really nice customer experience. And if you were using BuddyPress, you may have been using our plugin BuddyBoss Media, which is designed to add photo uploading and albums to BuddyPress. And so our photos component in here is actually a fork itself of BuddyBoss Media merged into BuddyBoss platform and then improved dramatically. So if you're using BuddyBoss Media before, all your media can port fine into BuddyBoss platform, but you will have to run a tool migration script because we've changed some things. If we go into import media, then we can run a migration script to import all the data from BuddyBoss Media into BuddyBoss platform so that your media will start working again. And then after that, you can actually just remove BuddyBoss Media. You don't need it.